Blood Hunt's weapons have evolved a lot over the last few updates, and we've seen some new additions. So today I wanted to refresh my list of the 6 best weapons you can find in Prague for the Tremere update. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest balance changes to weapons, you can check out my weapon guide spreadsheet, which I'll link in the description below. Just a quick heads up, I'm running a Blood Hunt anniversary giveaway on my Twitch channel at the end of the month. So if you want to get involved and win some awesome prizes, then make sure you follow me at twitch.tv slash motiongaming. Let's jump in with our first category. Best early game weapon. This is the ideal weapon you could find in the first few minutes of a match starting. Players have spawned all around you and you're going to need plenty of ammo, but you might have to fight for the resources. Your enemies are likely to be looting the same areas as you, so you don't need to worry about distance as much, but you want a consistent weapon that can handle many types of situation. For this category I have chosen the LMG. The consistent damage output is rivaled by other weapons, but the LMG wins for multiple reasons. Its substantially larger magazine size allows you to chain together multiple targets, and makes the most out of your gained accuracy for a massive edge over incoming third parties. The reload speeds may not appear very fast at first, but the LMG's reloads can be cancelled a lot earlier than you may think, and can give you an extra second over the nearest rifle, the assault rifle, which may have better first bullet accuracy, but lacks in consistency the more you fire. The one main downside of the LMG is its lack in precision at longer ranges, especially when you're in the air, so our next category is… The best medium to long range weapon. Fighting at longer ranges changes how you can approach a fight, as your enemies can very easily run and hide if you poke them too early. So for this category I chose something that has a significant poke damage, the sniper rifle. Not only will the high damage output of a sniper allow you to steal some easy kills from a safe distance, but it will give you a major advantage in any 1v1 if you open with an 80 or even a 160 hit point advantage, allowing you to win more fights overall. Finding higher rarities of the weapon will grant you more chances of hitting that sweet headshot, but if your aim is above average, then even the green variant can do the job, even in late game situations, and has been a go-to for the best players the game has to offer. The sniper's real potential comes from engaging or finishing an enemy, but needs to be paired with a very consistent secondary weapon to not be caught off guard. So our next category is… The best all-round weapon. This used to be a no-brainer a few updates back, but with some balancing across the board, there were multiple contenders for this category. I had to give it to the assault rifle though, as its consistency in all situations just can't be had with anything else currently in game. The DPS is very average, the reloads feel slow in lower rarities, and the spray accuracy can be a pain at longer ranges. But the assault rifle just gets the job done, and is possibly one of the easiest weapons to find, especially in solos as everyone respawns with a blue one. I really feel like this is an amazing secondary weapon, as it will perfectly complement just about any combination of weapons, even another assault rifle. I have to give an honourable mention to the LMG though, as it beats the assault rifle by a small margin in most of the handling stats, but the additional accuracy penalty of being airborne really held the LMG back, and had me missing most of my shots before the accuracy started kicking in. Certainly not ideal if you're into your parkour, but something to keep in mind if you're more likely to be found invisible and mostly on the ground. So what about if your aim sucks, or you're a bit more old school? Well, I've got you covered with our next category. The best melee weapon. So you wanted to play Fruit Ninja, but you thought having someone shoot back at you would make it more challenging, and you took the expression, taking a knife to a gunfight, literally. For this category we need good survivability, a great damage output, and the largest reach possible. And it all goes to the katana. All of the purple variant melee weapons will have amazing damage outputs, but nothing can keep up with the katana's ability to refuse projectiles that were heading straight towards your face. The reflectability can not only help you get within range of a panicking target, but also deal damage at the same time, and has the added benefit of making you look like a badass at the same time. You can even combine the katana, choleric buffs, and prowler's reveal to bring back the dreaded 2 hit down that was deemed too OP and caused choleric itself to be nerfed. 
If you're not a fan of the melee lifestyle though, or need something to hit those pesky scholars who keep taking to the skies, then this next category is for you. The best close range DPS weapon. So you've got within range of your targets, and you just want them dead in the quickest way possible. In this case, we can just look at the best DPS contenders on my weapon guide spreadsheet and take into account some variables for consistency. I excluded gold variant weapons here as they are not always in rotation, but bear in mind that they will have extra benefits and could out DPS our winner here. For consistency, it all came down to the Tommy gun or the dual pistols, with the Julies taking the title for a much more consistent accuracy. I found some of the other weapons that technically have a better DPS to be fairly inconsistent and often requires you to swap to a second weapon or reload to finish them off, which was only adding in extra time that you could be taking damage in. The dual pistols have an amazing damage output if you can tap fast enough and have basically zero recoil, which makes hitting multiple headshots in a row a lot easier than other weapons with significant spread to them. Add in the extremely fast reload speeds and the fast handling performance, and you have a solid secondary weapon to tear through your enemies with, and to be honest, they're pretty forgiving and fun to use, which brings us nicely to our next category. The most fun weapon. Now honestly, this will come down to personal preference, but if I had to name one myself, it would have to be the hunting rifle. This weapon is just so satisfying to use, whether it's the sound it makes, the generous headshot damage, the smooth fire rate, or the fact that you can just watch your enemies bleed to death from behind cover with no escape. Now sure, it does require more effort in both your aim and calculating the enemy's health to get those epic moments, but for now, there's nothing that beats that feeling for me, and it's just a fun way to win. Let me know what your favourite weapon is down in the comments, and that's it from me. Come on over to my Twitch channel for new weekly drops or check out some of my other Blood Hunt guides.